Hi, Sonia from Apple Toolbox here with you today. I love transferring my files with the simplicity of AirDrop. Lately though, my AirDrop has just not functioned as it used to. So what's up? First things first. It seems like the most recent iOS and Mac OS updates may be part of the problem. So I've compiled a list of things to do to get AirDrop back into working order. First, make sure all of your devices have AirDrop turned on. If you have personal hotspots turned on, this needs to be changed to off. Okay, now make sure Bluetooth is on. AirDrop also needs Wi-Fi, so check that Wi-Fi is turned on. This is one of those funny quirks. AirDrop doesn't require a Wi-Fi connection, but it does need Wi-Fi to be turned on. AirDrop is in your control center. On your home screen, swipe up from the bottom. Tapping on AirDrop leads to three options. One, off. Two, contacts. Three, everyone. Selecting everyone is our recommendation. It just seems to work better. If that trick doesn't help, try a soft reset on your iPhone or other iDevice. Okay, hopefully that worked. But just in case it didn't, it's time to explore your Max Firewall settings. Check these settings by going to System Preferences, selecting Security and Privacy, and then selecting Firewall. If Firewall is turned on, click Firewall Options. Make sure Block All Incoming Connections is not checked. If you are trying to airdrop between a newer Mac and an older Mac, click Don't See Who You're Looking For and select Search for an Older Mac. That should help. If none of these tips work for you, try and deactivate and then reactivate your iCloud account. Lastly, if nothing yet suggested works, it could be your Bluetooth preference file. Switch off Bluetooth, navigate to the main library folder, open the preference folder, and delete the file named com.apple.bluetooth.plist. Empty your trash and only then turn Bluetooth back on. I hope these tips help you get AirDrop working again. Let us know in the comments if you like this. Also, check out the link in descriptions to our article for more tips. Thanks for watching this video, and remember to subscribe to Apple Toolbox to get all our latest videos. I'll catch up with you later.